this is the EcoFlow Delta 1300. Uh, approximately 30.9 pounds. Okay, that's criteria one. It had to be lightweight enough so my, one of my sisters can pull it and move it around. It's 15.7 inches by 8.3 inches by 10.6 inches. Um, small unit, nice compact. Like I said, it uh, has 1,260 watt hours. And, uh, you know, so it's got a pure sine wave output. Total capacity is 18. 100 watts with a surge of 3300 watts which means you're going to start like a refrigerator or a microwave that initial surge to get the electronics going this can handle fairly good stuff uh, the pure sine wave is for um, your delicate electronics like your computers um, your big TVs you know and also your fans and compressors like that sine wave they don't like the tri triangle wave that you have on some of the cheap inverters or cheap generators operational wise it's fairly straightforward one button that turns on the main unit it'll give you how much charge you have how many hours of operation with what is leaving or when you're charging it what's going in the uh, battery pack itself i read somewhere there 20 it, the whole pack is 24 volts it's made up of different cells in a parallel series combination so the output of that is 24 volts dc they run that into what we call a dc to dc converter it converts that 24 down to 12 volts and it limits to current and for like your USBs, it drops that voltage even further down from 12 to 5. You turn on the DC to DC converter. Uh, your USB A uh, will have 2.4 volts of current. Excuse me, 2.4 amps at 5 volts. And the C's will be 5 volts at the full 3 amps. And uh, on the back side, there is a car uh, cigarette lighter. Oops, can't say cigarette lighter anymore. Uh, accessory port and you can pull um, 8 amps out of that um, when you're run, not going to need the DC you want to make sure you do not run the DC to DC converter because just idling this will actually draw uh, some of the battery power off so you, you know you're wasting the energy the unit comes with the standard 120 volt plug um, when you plug in it starts charging it does have this XT60, which is a apparently I didn't realize this is a standard connection for lithium batteries for like your remote control airplanes, cars, and uh, you know stuff like that, trucks, cars, airplanes, and boats. Uh, on the other end, this have the MC4, which is a standard um, connector the solar panels use. EcoFlow does sell three solar panels: 100 watt, 120 watt, and 160 watt. I kind of expect to get an email from them and say, hey, you know, <laughs> kind of like the expansion battery on the river. Here is our, can't say cigarette lighter anymore, it's not politically correct, but again, it's the accessory plug along with the XT60 plug and uh, to charge it up. On the back side, there are six outlets to plug it in. Now, these are just two prong uh, plugs. This opening is for the third prong, which just is a metal shield. So when you want to use it, again, you push on turns it on it beeps you're ready to go you can plug in which uh, device appliance you want it's recommended that you do not plug the appliance in until after you turn this on and unplug it then turn the device off you know there's a chance of damaging the inverter could happen and again if you're not using it shut off the inverter here is our accessory plug again eight amps out of this it uh, would be kind of nice if all this was on one side but you're limited with the real estate on this so that's what we got here is the door that you put in the xt60 for charging it from a solar panel or from another battery source um, you can actually run 65 volts up to 65 volts at 10 amps to charge this so uh, that's still going to take quite a while if you plug in at a standard outlet it charges in about an hour this is just a circuit breaker in case you pull too much power out of the unit uh, these are two fans when you start charging those fans will kick on to blow air through there uh, I was watching one video and the guy was complaining how loud they were. Uh, on this unit, the fans are fairly quiet and the air going in and the, compared to the air exiting, it was probably only a 10 degree difference. When this came in, it had probably 12% charge. It took uh, just about an hour to get it fully charged and like I said, it was fairly quiet. Like I said earlier, um, the Delta family does have an extended battery pack or another battery pack that you can put with this. I know it works on the Max and the Pros. 
I'm not quite sure if the straight delta can do it, but one thing, if you add the extra battery on these, it is recommended that you get it right away with the unit. Uh, you don't want to have this unit for a year or two, then add the extra battery, because what can happen is if the cell management software, when the system is being used, it keeps an eye on which cell is the weakest, and it kind of balances all the other cells to fall in line with that. Um, that one cell and it tries to give that cell a little more extra charging to bring it up with the other to the other cells but as soon as you add on that extra battery pack cell management software will go through and start trying to balance the two packs together and if you disconnect it so you, you're, you're going to take it somewhere you don't need the extra battery that can really throw off that cell management software and it's not recommended to remove the extra cell and put it back on um, once you put it on it should stay on there so and the extra pack is about the same size as this unit. So, so again, it's a real easy unit to operate for, for my sisters. Um, turn it on, turn it off, um, plug it in when they're all done so it charges. Uh, it takes roughly one hour for it to charge. They use some type of rapid charging when it's hooked up to 120 volts. Not a bad little unit. Um, I, I was impressed how lightweight it is, 30.9 pounds. It's got two handles on top. Um, the top here is kind of see if we can raise up here a little bit so you can see it this kind of dish I was kind of hoping this would be kind of like one of those um, oops the the new cell phones they use a transfer you know a transfer of energy without a cord but that no not like that that's just keep stuff from rolling off so not a bad little unit uh, hopefully down the road we can do a little more in-depth operation I had a chance to play with this a little bit down in the basement plug in some work lights and it seemed to work fairly good. What's nice about the lithium ion batteries, you do not have to run this all the way down before you recharge it. There's a lithium ion does not get the memory effect like NICADs do. So keep your eyes open for any specials on this one. EcoFlow in the Delta family. Be sure to tell your friends, neighbors, other hams. Subscribe, hit that bell to get notification when new videos come out. Add comments below. 7-3 everybody.